think I might be a masochist. So today I decided to install The Sims 1 Complete Collection. I have not played this game in years. I started playing The Sims before any expansions even came out. I started with The Sims 1 base game and I thought it was just the best thing I had ever played. Just the freedom of being able to murder all those people you hated as a child was just the most satisfying thing in the world. But as time went on, the game did develop into a more sophisticated life simulator, deviating away from the sadistic, torturing methods of our childhood past and becoming more of a millennial simulation. Which I absolutely agree with. But then of course you're always hearing how difficult this game is. That is no exaggeration. This game is hard. I would absolutely begin every game I started by typing in shift Control c and then rosebud and then all those semicolons and exclamation points to get as much money as I possibly could. Even then, keeping my sim alive was not easy. Okay, so we got the game up and running. I did play test this a little bit last night when I installed it to make sure we wouldn't encounter any imminent crashes or loading problems. The only problem is in my play test, I ended up going to the bathroom in real life. Long story short, Bella and Cassandra Goth are dead. I thought we would remake them so we could explore the create a sim a little bit first. Goth? I'll know it when I see it. I saw it! More Timur. I guess it would have to take a saint to be married to Bella. Don't get me wrong, I love Bella Goth. I just think that being married to her would be a bit of a challenge. Speaking of which, Bella. Darker complexion, female, and that's the extent of the customization. I don't think she's as nice. I think she would be a bit of a bitch. Okay, on to Cassandra. This this will be really easy. The children don't have as many swatches. I think we're gonna make her max active because we just know she's gonna end up in military school. In later games, she definitely grows into her beauty. Because you know, sometimes the ugly children, they end up being the most beautiful adults. Well, apparently swans anyway. She is all ready to fail school. So since they only have 20,000 as a new family, I'm gonna move them into 10 Sim Lane, which was my favorite house growing up in Sims. So I think I particularly like this house because it was bigger, it was empty, so I could just add in the things as I saw fit. Matching wood swatches never happened in The Sims 1 and they're not happening in The Sims 4. This TV was my life as a kid. Every single house I made had this TV. Oh, this stereo, yes. Okay, so I got the house furnished. I had to make a couple changes just because we had even less money than I had anticipated. Okay, so I thought the first thing we should do, let them just live their life and see what happens. We all know what's gonna happen. I think it'd be fun just to see what we're dealing with. Okay, so they're all going in to check out their new house. Bella is leading the way as the boss bitch she is. He likes the lamp, me too. I like that it was only $50. Oh, the phone is ringing. Your personal fan club has erected a fountain in your likeness. You're officially designated a living legend. Collect the $950 thrown into the foundation by adoring fans. Well, wouldn't that be lovely? Let's just be real, that's probably the only good luck that we're gonna get in this. Oh, it's on the stove. Come on, damn. Okay, so I just realized that Bella and Cassandra are sharing a bed, which makes sense because technically when you make two adults in The Sims 1, they're not married, they have really no prior relationship other than roommates. I'm not sure if they slept in the same bed anyway. Oh, Mortimer's cooking again, so maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe he'll start the fire before Cassandra goes to school. God damn it. So Cassandra didn't make it to school, of course. Okay, so we're on the morning of day three. Cassandra is due at school soon, but is still in bed. Uh-oh. Okay, here we go. This is what we're talking about. Bella just doesn't give up. Oh, and Cassandra just woke up. I shall have a nice surprise. I don't think she's going to school. Will she even notice the fire if she walks by? She's totally going to school. She doesn't even notice the fire. It's getting much worse. Let's speed it up a bit to see what happens next. And Bella's on fire now. She's the first to go. I must have killed this woman hundreds of times throughout my life. The thing is, Mortimer could plea with the Grim Reaper, and perhaps Bella could be spared. But he's not doing that, he's just freaking out. If the fire goes out and Mortimer doesn't catch fire, we have the problem now of the fridge being destroyed. Rest in peace, Bella. She's done. Once the fridge is destroyed, oh my god, yeah, I don't think we're gonna have to worry about that. 
Yeah, oh, and here comes a bit. Oh, here comes the other Mortimer. He might. Oh, God, yes. Oh, please just come in. Oh. Okay, so now the front door is blocked with fire. Okay, the fridge is gone. Maybe the fire will still be going by the time Cassandra gets home from school. Okay, so the fire went out on its own, and Cassandra's about to come home to find her dead mother in the burnt kitchen. They have everything they need to live now, except food. So we're gonna put this on three times speed and just see what happens and how long this will take. They're getting a little hungry. Oh, she's having a good time for somebody who's about to starve to death. Oh, she's crying. Okay, so it's later in the night. They continue to pathologically order pizzas, yet not answer the door when the pizza arrives. I'm not quite sure how they're still using the bathroom. It's not like they're consuming anything. Bella's come to visit. Hi, Bella. Oh, she's gone. Oh, Mortimer's passed out on the floor for some reason. Oh, now Cassandra's passed out. Morning of the fifth day. Start our day instead of having breakfast. We're gonna cry, cry at the urn and get ready for school. I don't think she's going. Ugh. You know, if I had empathy, this might be really unsettling to see. Okay, so as I predicted, Cassandra is in jeopardy of being sent to military school. In this game, when a child gets sent to military school, they are gone forever. Why don't we comment below and guess if she's gonna die of starvation or if she'll be sent to military school. They've passed out on the ground again. The phone is ringing. I don't think they're gonna answer it. Oh, 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 oh! It looks like, it looks like Mortimer has collapsed from hunger right in front of Cassandra. <gasps> No! How could this happen? Is she just gonna like fill the bath and drain it as death takes away her father? Deepest sympathy, Mortimer has just died. Honestly, I've seen that screen. I can't even tell you how many times. So Cassandra is all by herself with her two dead parents with no fridge. <laughs> Bella's gonna spook her. Nah. Never mind. She died instead. I wonder if Bella can plead for her own daughter. F for respects. Okay, I think that's a good place to wrap this up. If you like what you've seen, just let me know in the comments or send me a message. Let me know what other kind of videos that you'd like me to make. Thanks again. Have a great day.